So in this video, we are going to look at how to bat using Pro Controls in Cricut 24. First of all, you have to select Pro Controls in the main menu, Settings, go to the General Settings, Controls, and the Batting Controls, select Pro instead of Arcade. That's have the job done. Now on screen on the left side, you have the Xbox controller. On the right side is the PS controller. Also, the keys are written on screen to make it easier for you. Now to move in the crease and take a look from the camera over the batsman plus RT and LT on your Xbox and L2 and R2 on your PS controller at the same time. Now we move on to how to play the shots. So this is a normal shot, not the aggressive one, just a normal shot. And to play this, you only need to use the two sticks, the left one for footwork and the right one for placement. You can see the screen, it is explained in detail. So the left one is used to move your foot towards the ball and the placement is obviously where you want to place the ball or when to hit the shots. It also has a 360 degree rotation so you can play all around the ground which makes the pro control much easier to bat. Then to play a front foot cover drive we have to push the footwork button towards the 6 o'clock and the direction towards 7 o'clock. Now you can play this delivery to straight down the ground as well but it's up to you. I'm just showing you an example on how to play around with this control so the footwork towards six o'clock and the shot towards seven o'clock to help me play this cover drive we'll have another example of a shot towards leg side after this i will play it towards the square leg and once again the footwork is towards six o'clock or towards the umpire and the placement is towards the square leg umpire or three o'clock so this is how you play with a pro control play normal shots you can just play all around depending on the line and length of the delivery. Now we'll look at the defensive shots. There you go, front foot defense and to play the defensive shot you have to press RT on Xbox or R2 on your PS controller and then use the direction and footwork just like we did before. So press and hold the RT or R2 and then push the foot movement or foot towards the umpire for front foot and the direction also towards the umpire or maybe even towards the mid off wherever you want to defend the ball. So pretty easy and next we'll look at how to leave the ball and that's a horrible leave but I'm just here to show you how to use the control so you can see to leave the ball press left stick on xbox controller or l3 on your ps this is the default one you can change this around in the general settings to right stick if you want but the default one is the left stick or the l3 now let's look at the funky type of leave uh, where the pad goes inside the pads or uh, inside the legs and where it looks like he's playing the shot but he's not so to do this just hold the defensive or the rtr2 button along with the left stick or l3 and he will play this unique defensive shot. Uh, pretty fun to watch, but the timing is a bit messy. And all, if you look at the replay, the ball is already past him. So there you go. Now look at how to play the attacking ground shot. The intention is to hit a boundary, but you don't want to hit it in the air. So the buttons are LT plus RT plus footwork plus direction on Xbox and the relevant one for PS you can see on screen. So it is an attacking ground shot. Do not have the risk of hitting it in the air or getting caught and you're trying to hit a boundary if you pick the gap. Now for the same ball you can hit it in the air by just holding LT or L2 and then using the footwork and direction. This one is hit in the air with the intention of getting a 6 or a boundary but with much higher risk as well. Hope you guys are getting this. Otherwise, you can ask me in the comment section in case you need any further clarity. Next, we are going to look at the precision shot and it is one of the least used shot in big and cricket games and with a good reason because it looks like a normal shot but with lesser power. It is used in limited overs cricket if you just want to hit it in the gap and run one or two but you have to be careful with timing because you have a lot of risk of getting caught because somehow it doesn't doesn't come off well this shot and it is much better if you play or if you avoid playing these shots but the controls are on screen rb or r1 along with footwork and direction you can also play a few cute shots like this and this particular shot was not in cricket 22 and it's it is hard to trigger this shot the ball has to be on the fourth stump line it has to be a full length and then you can just jab it towards you know, third man behind the point uh, for a single looks really nice. So the controls just front foot 
and the direction or the shot towards the fourth slip or the gully area so it looks really nice and just an additional bonus content for you so if the ball is on the fourth stump line just try to do this it will not trigger all the time as i have noticed but it looks really good when it does it is played with a loose bottom hand as well so that the ball is all along the ground let's have a look at the back foot shots now we'll look at the back foot defense and pretty similar to the forward defense instead of coming forward with the footwork we just push back now this ball is wide so it's hard to play now this is a better example i'll show you in replay so push the footwork back towards 12 o'clock press the rt or r2 button and then give direction towards the umpire or the mid off so this is the back foot defense you can also play back foot dab shots uh, towards third man like this just once again push the footwork towards wicket keeper and the direction towards the first slip if there is no slip it's a good shot to have otherwise a risky shot you can also play these shots by holding down the aggressive button uh, the six hitting button but that's a bit more risky for this video we're just going to play the normal shots here so footwork towards wicket keeper direction towards slip to play this dab shot towards third man and it's a good shot in limited overs cricket especially when there is no slips in place similarly you can play the cut shot as well uh, it's a bit more forceful because the direction is towards the point or just behind the point now with cut shot the earlier you play the more square you hit and the later you play it will go finer so that if you hit it late it will go behind the point towards the third man and if it's early it will go towards the point region so footwork once again towards the wicket keeper 12 o'clock and direction towards 3 or 2 o'clock as per the line length of the ball and once again pretty easy to play back foot cut and this also once again a very handy shot especially when you're playing on hard bouncy tracks the ball will bounce around the chest region most of the times in places like australia so playing on the back foot is really really important and you can also play towards the mid wicket similarly just go towards footwork towards wicket keeper at 12 o'clock and the direction should be around eight o'clock so you can play this back foot shot towards mid wicket there are also a lot more shots you can play but those are with batting style number six and seven which i will make a video soon now look at some of the unorthodox shots to play the unorthodox shots you have to press lb or l1 on your respective controller and for scope shot you play the footwork towards the umpire front foot and the direction should be to wicket keeper it should be exactly to wicket keeper so if you're not using a good controller the controller is slippery you will not be able to play this because a slight miss and it will end up with a sweep or reverse sweep shot now that shot looks stupid here because i missed it but when it comes off it looks really good so now let's have a look at the reverse sweep once again unorthodox button the lb or l1 front foot towards umpire then give direction towards the point fielder if you're left-handed batsman or right-handed batsman to play the reverse sweep it is different from the switch hit because here the grip is not changing it's the same grip for the left-hander you can see here for switch hit the grip changes and it is almost like right hander which we will look at after this so this is the reverse sweep now look at the switch it here the batsman completely changes into right hander one change in grip to play this you have to hold two buttons together that is lb and lt that is a six hitting and the unorthodox button and then give the required direction that is a front foot and the direction towards point or any other area you want to hit but point would be ideal to play this shot so you can see the controls on screen once again switch it you can see the hands clearly changing there and then we have the sweep shot it's pretty easy just press the unorthodox button and just give the direction and the front foot so you can play it all around the ground you can give the direction towards the leg slip towards the square leg anywhere you want then comes the slog sweep it's pretty much like the keys are pretty much like the switch it but here you're playing towards your leg leg area not the offside so if you're right handed batsman you play towards the square leg or any other leg side area with lb plus l2 or l1 plus l2 and front foot and direction to play the slog sweep in the air and it's especially really really useful inside the power play and we finally have the helicopter shot in the unorthodox armory and for this you have to have the direction towards the umpire so the front foot and direction both towards the umpire with the unorthodox button lb or l1 pressed and you will have the 
helicopter shot. Now to come down the wicket, you have to press the right stick or the R3 button and then the required shot and direction. You can also play the defensive shot coming down. You don't have to always try to hit for six. And uh, to play the defensive shot down the ground, you can hold down the defensive button that is L2 or R2 and then front foot plus direction. So neatly done. I missed the ball here, but I'm just showing you that you can do all this stuff here. And if you need any further help, you can go to the tutorial section, go to the batting with your pro controls selected, go into the batting section and select any of this. And you will have on screen instructions showing you how to do, uh, how to bat with the pro control. So we can see, for example, press X to start running, press X again to cancel the run. So all this stuff is available inside the game. But still, if you need anything more, do let me know in the comment section. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you think this video has provided some value, do hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, it's goodbye from me. Take care. Have a nice one.